Kenya has emerged overall winners of the 21st edition of the African Athletics Championship. The Kenyans won 11 gold, 6 silver and 2 bronze medals, while South Africa emerged second with 9 gold, 13 silver and 8 bronze medals. Team Nigeria followed closely with 9 gold, 5 silver and 5 bronze. Our sports correspondent Osno Kodapan has a report. Egypt, Ethiopia, Gambia, Ghana. Tagged as Saba 2018, the 21st edition of the African Athletics Championship featured the best of the continent's athletes. It's the home stretch. You can't stop him. He's stuck celebrating already. It's a massive run to the finish. And yes, yes, it is Ethiopia who takes it. First champion of Asaba 20. 18. The championship in Asaba was a major discussion in the media, particularly on the level of preparation. They can't stop being weak. We've pointed all the issues out. One, it's not totally our fault, but if you have guests and they feel they suffer some discomfort, will you just apologize to them? Now, we are having meetings to confirm to us that departure so that we provide the logistics to move them to Lagos and fly out. So there won't be any issue. A very first gold medalist. Despite the knocks, the Delta State government is pleased and motivated to do more for sports development. Most importantly, some of our very young ones over there are so excited and I believe that that is a commitment that they need to be able to fire up themselves to compete in the future. So I believe that in the next few years, Delta is going to go overboard in terms of uh, creating new talents on the field. In 1999, and away we go. The 400 meter hurdles for women as they approach the first set of hurdles on the turn. But when Danelle comes stalking her, it's going to be one final push on the home run. Glory on the main Nathaniel in front. Nigeria will take this. When Danelle tracks back, she's good only for bronze. What technique? He's calling on his reserve. He's going to take gold. Kenya will celebrate yet again. South Africa will take silver. Nigeria good enough only for bronze. And it's the Kenyans who get one last Uhuru. And as the cotton falls on the championship in Asaba, hopefully officials of athletics in Nigeria will evaluate the event, keep the positives, and work towards changing the negatives. Austin Okonakban, Channel Television News. On to football, Sergio Aguero scored both Manchester City's goals as the Premier League champions beat Chelsea to win the Community Shield at Wembley. Aguero's first goal came after 13 minutes when he collected the ball on the edge of the area and fired into the bottom corner. His second came after the break when he latched on to Bernardo Silva's pass and beat Willy Caballero with another precise low finish. Chelsea, who are less than a month into Maurizio Sarri's reign as manager, lacked a presence in attack and managed only one shot on target. Thirty-seven people at least are now known to have died following a powerful seven-magnitude earthquake in Indonesia's island of Lombok. It comes a week after another earthquake hit the popular tourist site, killing 16 people. A tsunami warning issued in the aftermath has been lifted. Oh. The impact of the earthquake on the resort islands of Bali and Lombok were uploaded on social media. Authorities issued a tsunami warning shortly after the quake hit, causing holidaymakers and residents to go into panic mode. <laughs> Families evacuated their homes on Lombok Island. People were seen rushing out of their damaged homes, carrying their children, as a blackout hit the area after the quake. The country's disaster management agency urged people to stay away from the sea and beaches. 
No official information about possible casualties was made more than two hours after the quake, which struck in the early evening after sunset. The United States Geological Survey said the epicenter of the quake was on land on Lombok, though initial reports put it just off the coast. It struck at a depth of 10 kilometers a week after a magnitude 6.4 quake killed 14 people on Lombok and briefly stranded hundreds of hikers on the slopes of a volcano. Indonesia is prone to earthquakes because it lies on the ring of fire, the line of frequent quakes and volcanic eruptions that circles virtually the entire Pacific Rim. Meanwhile, three people have died, have been killed after a car bomb exploded along the main street in the Somali capital, Mogadishu. Police say the blast came from a car parked in front of a restaurant at the busy street of Maka al Mukaram. The front of the restaurant was destroyed, while blood stained the floor and chairs were strewn around the, by the blast. The bodies of those killed lay on the ground, while the wreckage of three cars and a tuk tuk were left in the street. Somalia has been plagued by lawlessness and violence since 1991 as Islamist group Al-Shabaab is fighting to dislodge a Western-backed government protected by African Union mandated peacekeepers. And the main news again. Kano State Deputy Governor Hafiz Abubakar has resigned after misunderstanding with his boss, Abdullahi Ganduji. In his resignation letter on Sunday, Mr. Abubakar said he was resigning as a result of irreconcilable differences between him and the governor. Also today, Senate Minority Leader Agotola Pabio met with President Mahmoudou Buhari in London. The meeting is coming just a few days before the senator is expected to formally announce his defection to the ruling party. Human rights lawyer Femi Falano has warned the All Progressives Congress against making any plans to impeach the Senate President, Bukola Saraki, and at least 37 persons have died after a hit the Indonesian island of Lombok. That is the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.